by now then you should probably get familiar I'm gonna do a trailer tour today, um, even though my most requested video is a tack room tour, but I can't do a tack room tour because I'm at a boarding barn and I don't feel comfortable showing like everybody else's stuff and everything. And there's not very much of my stuff in there anyway, so everything else I own for the most part is in my trailer. There's a couple things at home that I didn't feel the need to take with me to college. So it's super, super messy, and I haven't cleaned it since one of my shows in September. Like, I haven't even, there's probably poop in the back still. So bear with me, it's really disgusting, and don't make fun of me because of it. So there she is. It's a Exus all aluminum three horse that I turned into a two horse, and you'll see what we did in a minute. The tack room first. Um, you'll actually notice we have it's like a hardwood floor, but it's not. Um, I think it's like a like a linoleum. It just snaps together. It's not real wood. So we have <laughs> this mess at the moment. It's a bunch of stuff. Um, so basically, we have. That's one of Coda's extra blankets. Um, it doesn't really fit him. It's a 78 and apparently he's not a 78 anymore. So, um, this is my Western Show saddle. It is a Rainsman. So, this is my extremely messy hanging rack. That's a leftover lunge line. I don't know where it came from and why I'm not using it but anyways this is my um, like braiding bag that I don't use because I don't often braid but I do band coda and when I band him I use this it's got all my stuff in it you know like clips and bands and stuff um, this is an extra head stall you know you got extra everything here's my showmanship halter it's not a nice halter it's just it does its job some extra halters, a bit, um, his size 80 blanket that fits him, it's like a, just a regular like turnout stall sheet. Down here I have a bunch of random stuff, um, some boxes, there's a bunch of bits in there, there's a bunch of bits in there. I believe that's what we use to keep his supplements in when we go to shows, that green lid, which is wrapped. This is my show tote. It's pretty messy um, because I haven't used it in a while, but yeah, it's, you know, got bands in it, clippers, uh, all kinds of stuff, show sheen, uh, <laughs> different shampoos, fly sprays, leg sprays, touch up. So up here, we're going to make this into a living quarters. Um, we just haven't gotten around to it. So, oh, under here is just like a hanging rack and there's his fake tail here's my hat can <laughs> with my hat in it um i believe my hat is a bailey's hat i'm not 100 percent sure but i'm pretty sure my show pad um uh, there's a bit in there uh i couldn't tell you what's in here i'm pretty sure it's leather cleaners but this is an ovation bag, um, and I'm not supposed to have, like, talk about it, because I'm sponsored by Noble Outfitters, so <laughs> go ahead and buy that Noble Outfitters bag right there for me. Tell them I told you to. So, those are my showmanship boots back there. They're Farini. Um, this is my most prized possession. This has pretty, I, I take this everywhere. Those are all Coda's papers, his Coggins, pretty much everything. Um, it's an English belt, but it pretty much has everything one would need in it. Earrings, um, there's socks, there's Aquanet, which keeps my hair in place. <clears throat> A bunch of random hair supplies. Um, Band-Aids, because, you know, who knows what's gonna happen. This is for when we go to shows. It's a clothing rack, it just comes up. And I hang all my clothes on it. This is an English pad that I'm not using right now. 
There's a bunch of random stuff down there. That's my mounting block. Okay, so little disclaimer, I cannot get into the extra tack room. I think it's I think it's frozen shut to be honest. Because it's unlocked, but it won't open. So sometimes that happens with this trailer. It gets stuck. So I'm gonna show you the back. And I was going to clean the back out, but my pitchfork is in the extra tack room, so we're missing a pad right now. We'll replace it. Um so we converted it into a two horse. Um, this is obviously the only stall coat it goes in. It leaks a little right here, but it's rained a lot in Finley. So, like I said, I have not cleaned this out since I showed in September. Um, I can actually show you the extra tack room over this though. So I have up here a little net so we can drop down his window and he won't get rocks in his face or whatever else might be. I really like this trailer easy for me to haul because I hauled by myself so what we did here for the front stall is we put um, a stud wall in so that we could store things in that next one and he wouldn't get to it or be able to get to it so basically what we keep in there I'll show you it we keep shavings chairs um, it's supposed to be for tack but obviously we don't have tack in there. There's some, oh, I think that's his supplements, buckets, feed scoops, such. I can put, oh, I can put seven to eight bags of shavings in here and some hay. And I don't have to worry about getting my tack room dirty and the bed of my truck's not very big. So, yeah. So for those of you who may be wondering, um, I'll show you the specs on this trailer. So, there's the tack room. There we go. Okay, so, the trailer itself weighs 5,200 pounds. Um, so, that's pretty, that's pretty light. It's a warm blood size, so it's extra tall. My truck towing capacity isn't very much, so it kind of has to be, you know, pretty pretty light um so i figured i would incorporate a couple q a questions because i never did that video um since my camera died part way through that trailer tour and it wasn't great so first question is what is coda's best event english or western uh, his best event i would say is the equitation or the hunter under saddle he's better at english but I've started to enjoy Western more now that I'm on Finley's um, Western IHSA team. I've done a lot of horsemanship. So I would say starting this year, it's probably going to be the horsemanship is his best, best event because we have been working on that really, really hard. Um, pretty much that's all I've been riding him is in the horsemanship. Like I've just been practicing that over the winter because it was his weakest event. Um, he was supposed to be better at Western, but he's kind of a Wanglish mutt, so I would say definitely English is his better area of count. Another question was, what is Coda's personality like? Um, he is a doink. I'll use that word. He's a doink. <laughs> um, riding wise, he's pretty nice to ride. Um, occasionally, and by occasionally, I mean quite frequently, he'll pretend to be scared of things so that he doesn't have to work. That's his, like, main quirk. Is So he always does it with, like, barrels and things that are along the wall. But I would say, definitely, his personality is really quirky. Um, to ride, he's pretty simple. But, like, in the cross ties, he's always licking you and playing with things, which can get really annoying. Um, He's a little grumpy about a lot of things, like for example, cinching him up. He pretends like he's gonna bite you even though he really won't bite you. Same with like putting his blanket on. He's like super weird about that, which is fine, I guess, because he doesn't ever do anything bad. And then another question was, um, what am I graduating to be? I am going to be a vet. Um, I don't enjoy farm animals that much like I think they're really cute but I don't want to work on them for the rest of my life so my goal will be to be an equine vet 
like strictly. Um, reason one for that is where I live um, in northern Michigan there are zero equine vets like strictly equine. Um, pretty much everybody around me does like horses and then they'll do like dogs and cats and stuff. So I would say there's more money in being a equine specific vet so that's what I'm gonna do. The next question asked what made me pick Coda and how did I find him? Um, I bought Coda from Amanda Mosel out of Southern Michigan in 2015 and I just saw him, actually I had asked her about another horse that she had and she sent me a couple that she had that she was going to post on her public page later in the day. So Coda was never actually publicly listed. Um, because I told her that I wanted him before she listed him. And it was one of those scenarios where she said, you can have him for this price if you pick him up before Tuesday. And it was like Sunday night and obviously my mom had to work and I was 15. So we were like, wow, this isn't gonna work. But I really, really wanted it to work. And I like needed it to work because he had really good breeding and he was young and he didn't have much training which is what I wanted in the first place because the mare I had before him was kind of a hot mess. She was a rescue. She had so many problems. So I didn't want something that already had problems. I wanted something that I could do by myself. So I got him. We ended up making it work. There was somebody that we just so happened to know that went down there and they picked him up. Um, actually I bought him before I ever saw him. The first time I saw him was when I had already paid for him and he stepped off the trailer. From experience, don't ever do that. I will never do that again. It turned out okay, but I, oh that was scary. So I'm not doing it again. <laughs> I'll be riding shotgun underneath the heart, so I'm feeling like someone.